Hello, and welcome to the final episode of Every Rock Has a Story, episode number 44. Now, today's episode starts with a rainbow. And so I thought I would begin by making you a rainbow and singing one of my favorite songs. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers and me La da da dee da da do La da 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 dum dee da do Here's our rainbow. Violet lepidolite Indigo blue, kyanite, light blue blue schist, green malachite, yellow sulfur, orange amber, and red red ochre. Beautiful rainbow. I bet you didn't know we had a rainbow here. The whole time there's been a rainbow of color right in front of us. I guess we just never looked at it quite that way before, had we? So I told you that today's story started with a rainbow, like the one that I've just built. The rock of the day is this rock right here, and I collected this myself in an old abandoned mine in California called the Rainbow Mine. Let me show you this rock from the Rainbow Mine up front. It's beautiful. It's got sparkly red and orange garnets, white calcite, dark green amphibole and pyroxene, light green epidote back here many of the colors of the rainbow, but none of those things are the reasons that the miners were working in the rainbow mine. They were looking for something that you can't see. Something called shelite. Shelite is the mineral that you can't see in here, and shelite contains a metal called tungsten. Tungsten is very useful for making steel hard, but also tungsten is used in metal filaments in old-fashioned light bulbs. You put a current through those metal filaments and they glow and they're made of tungsten. So sometimes I call this my tungsten rock or my light bulb rock because it glows like a light bulb, except it isn't glowing right now. I also want you to know that this story is about finding light in the darkness, seeing the light even in the darkest places. Now, I wonder, have you ever found yourself in a dark place? Maybe you feel a little bit worried or you start to get a little scared. That can happen sometimes. But what I found is that even if you're in a very dark place or a dark time, if you can learn to shine a different light on your situation, you can almost always find the light through the darkness. Now, the miners, when they came to the rainbow mine, they heard about the tungsten, the shelite inside the mine. And so they decided to go down deep, deep into the mine. They were looking for the shelite, but they couldn't see that light bulb rock glowing. They couldn't see anything. Can you see it glowing? I can't see the glowing shelite. And they went deeper. And as they got deeper into the mine, it got very dark. You ready? And in the dark, they started to get scared. They started to get worried. And they said, I don't know if there's any she light here. I don't see any light bulb rock. I think we should go back. There's nothing here to find. But then one of the miners had the courage to suggest, I think we should shine a different light on this situation. And he brought down something called an ultraviolet light. And when he shone that ultraviolet light on the situation, there. Do you see it now? All that white twinkly light is the she light. That's why I called him a light bulb rock. That's all the ore lit up. And the miners were so happy. When I look at that rock, it almost reminds me of the night sky. In fact, I can almost imagine 
a shooting star from my very first episode flying across the night sky. Isn't it amazing when you look at a rock with a different light, the whole sky, the universe opens up before you. Well, those miners were so excited and so happy that they had found the ore with their ultraviolet light. They came up and they rejoiced. They were so happy because they had found the light even through the darkness. And that's the message of my story today. Even in those darkest times, if you shine a different light, you can find the light through the darkness. So that's my last story for you. And I want you to remember, every rock has a story. All of these rocks, you've heard 44 stories from me, but there are hundreds and thousands more stories just waiting to be discovered and learned and told and shared. You can do that discovery. And remember, it's not just rocks that have stories. In fact, everything you could imagine in the entire universe has a story. A rock, a tree, a drop of rain. Every person has a story just waiting to be told. All you have to do is take your wonder, your curiosity, your courage, and your hope and ask the question, what is your story? So go out there, go do it. Look, look big, look small, look high, and look low, look near, and look far. Look at the present, but also learn from the past. Always try to look at the same thing from multiple perspectives. And try to shine a different light on the situation. Remember, Always look at both sides of the story. Celebrate all of your greatest discoveries, but learn from your mistakes and see if you can correct them. I've had a lot of fun sharing these stories with you, and I just want to end by thanking you for giving me the opportunity to share some of my stories with you. Bye-bye.